Greetings of peace and blessings. Welcome to my channel, guys. I'm out here doing some street dawah, which means inviting people to the beautiful religion of Islam. So guys, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and share. And once again, I appreciate you guys for watching. Assalamu alaikum. One God, one God. In Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Malik Yawm Al-Din Iyaka Na'budu wa Iyaka Nasta'in Ihdina Sirat Al-Mustaqim Sirat Al-Ladhina Namta Alayhim Ghayr Al-Maghdubi Alayhim Waladhalim Ameen. In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful. All praise is for Allah, Lord of all worlds, the most compassionate, the most merciful, the master of the day of judgment. You alone we worship. You alone we ask for help. Guide us along the straight path, the path that those of those you have blessed, not those you are displeased with. Or those who are asleep. I'm trying to get into it. Okay, so. beautiful, beautiful. Have you taken your shahada yet? Like, have you have no. you formally accepted Islam? No. Well, what's stopping you, my dear sister? No, no. She's, I'm going. I'm, it's just, I guess, a process. It's a process, of course, yeah. of course, of course. Okay, well, do you mind if I offer you some free gifts? Yeah, sure. Okay, beautiful. Have you ever had the chance to read the Quran yet? Uh, no. Okay, beautiful. This is a gift from me to you, my dear sister. Okay. Uh, do you know the basics of Islam? Or would you like for me? Do well, you have any questions no, I have at all? No questions. She usually help me out. Okay. Well, I guess. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions, then, my dear sister? Okay. Do you believe that there's only one Creator? Yeah. Do you believe only the Creator is worthy of worship? Yes. Do you believe the Prophet Muhammad is a servant and a messenger of God? Yes. Okay, my dear sister, already Muslim. Okay. <laughs> would you like to formally be welcomed into Islam? No, not right now. Okay, no problem, my dear sister. Whenever you're ready, I would love to offer you a prayer mat as well. What color would you like, my dear sister? Pink one, go ahead. It's a gift for me to you. Beautiful. And then along with that comes a prayer manual that teaches you how to worship the Most High. Okay, my dear okay. sister? So if you want, um, if you want, you could just go ahead and open this up. And then you could place everything inside. So you see right here, okay, it's a great. prayer mat. Oh, and then there's a travel so bag. Absolutely, my dear sister. <laughs> and not just, uh, she will be proud I mean, of you, she, uh, but, but your creator. Uh, uh, yes. Yes, your uh, creator. Yeah. Not Muhammad, the creator yeah, of Muhammad. Because yeah. we believe Muhammad is only a human being. Yeah. We will never worship Prophet Muhammad because obviously Prophet Muhammad died, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you can't That's worship something yeah. that will die. Yeah. We worship the ever living, the all sustaining. Okay, my dear sister? Here's okay, a gift from me to you. you. So Are you sure you have no questions at all? No, I have not. Okay, beautiful, my dear sister. All right, God bless you, my dear sister. Rich, okay, Wahab, nice to meet you, my brother. Hey, yeah. Um, uh, what, what brought you over to the table, my brother? They said that you were giving away bags to people. Yes, sir, my brother. Yes, sir, my brother. You know anything about Islam? Yes, sir. Okay, beautiful. I Quran. Can I get a Quran? Of course, my brother. Everything is a gift for me to you, my brother. Thank you. Uh, you have any questions at all? What should I read? Okay, well, do you? Would you like for me to explain to you a little bit about Islam so that yeah. way you have an understanding? Okay, yeah. beautiful, my brother. So Islam simply means submission to the Almighty Creator. Okay, yeah. a Muslim is a is a person who chooses to submit their will to that Almighty Creator, right? Yeah. So, what Muslims believe about God is completely different than what other people believe about God. For instance, I'll share with you what Muslims believe about God. Muslims believe that there's only one unique, right, uncomparable God, right? He has no son and he has no partner, right? And only he is worthy of worship. He is the one true God. And any other deity is false. Okay, I'll go ahead and share with you what the Quran says about Almighty God. If you want, you could open up to uh, open up with me, page three seventy four, chapter one twelve, and it explains exactly who Almighty God is. Okay, and if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Okay, there's no such thing as a bad question, my dear brother. So what I'll do first, my dear brother, right? So it's page um, three seventy four. Okay, so um, what I'll do, right, is uh, I'll share with you the original verses in Arabic, right? And then I'll translate it for you in English, okay? So this is the original Quran right here in Arabic, okay? So I'm going to recite the original, right? And then I'm going to translate it for you in English, okay, my brother? So if you want here, I'll, I'll just hear it. This one's already opened up to the page here, so it's easier for you, okay, my brother? Yeah. Beautiful. So, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد. So what it says, my dear brother, right? It's right here, chapter one twelve, right? It says that in the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful, because we believe the Creator is the most compassionate and the most merciful, right? And that He is Allah, 
one and indivisible, meaning Allah is absolutely one and He cannot be divided into parts. So as Muslims, we reject the idea of a trinity. We believe that God is absolutely one and He cannot be divided into parts, right? Allah, the sustainer needed by all, meaning everyone and everything needs Allah, but Allah does not need anyone or anything. Does that make sense, my dear brother? Beautiful. And He has never had offspring. So as Muslims, we do not believe we are the children of God. We believe we are the children of Adam and Eve. Have you heard of those names before? Adam and Eve. So you're a son of Adam, and also I am a son of Adam as well. Even though we look different, we're actually brothers, my dear brother. We are brothers. That's why I call you my brother, because I sincerely believe you are my brother. We have the same mother, and we have the same father, which is Adam and Eve. We're all related to one another. Either we like it or not, we're all related to one another, right? And nor was he born. So as Muslims, we reject the idea of Jesus being God. We do not believe God is Jesus, nor do we believe Jesus is God. Okay, we believe God is not a human being. And there's none comparable to him, right? So for instance, let me ask you a question, my dear brother. Do you believe God sleeps? No, beautiful. Do you believe God eats like us? Do you believe God needs anyone? Okay, beautiful. Now, my next question to you is, what do you believe the purpose of life is, my dear brother? To be prosperous and fruitful. Okay, that's what you believe. Do you mind if I share what the Muslims believe about what the purpose of life is? Yeah. So the Quran says very clearly, right? If you want, you could open up the page. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you what page it is, right? So chapter 67 of the Glorious Quran. Right here, I'll just open it up for you here. 322, right? So right here in the beginning, I'm going to recite the verses in the Arabic and then translate English. And I'm going to explain to you what the Muslims believe the purpose of life is. Where I'm going to explain to you why you were created. And every human being was created for a purpose. We weren't created for a meaningless life. We all have a purpose. And I'm going to share that with you. Okay, my brother? <laughs> غفور. So it says, my dear brother, I'll open up to the page right now as well, right? So it says, in the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful, that life is a test. Blessed in the one in whose hands rests all authority. And he is most capable of everything. He is the one who created death and life in order to test which one of us are best in deeds. And he is the almighty, the all forgiving. So as Muslims, we believe that the purpose of life is to recognize who your creator is. And once you recognize your creator, you worship your creator alone. And that this life is simply a test for human being. That no matter what, no matter where we are, even we're alone in a dark room, we know that the creator is watching us. Do you believe you can hide from the creator? No, you can never hide from the Creator. All you can do that for forgiveness. Exactly, exactly. And guess what? The, the Creator is the most forgiving, the most kind. He didn't create you to punish you. He created you in order for you to enjoy paradise. But in order to access paradise, you must simply just worship Him alone and be loyal to that Creator. Does that make sense, my dear brother? Beautiful. That's all being a Muslim is. Huh? That's, That's all being a Muslim. It means a pure monotheist, meaning you worship God and God alone. Without any partners, without any equals. Is that something that you're willing to accept? Not right now, but I'm, I'm going to read into more Beautiful, about my it brother. and I'll, I'll be able to get back with you. Of course, my brother. I would love to offer you some more gifts, my dear brother. you have any questions at all about what I shared with you? No, I'm just read up on it, though. Okay, cool. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll give you this one, right? Here, this one is your original one. Cool, and then uh, what color prayer mat would you want, my dear brother? These are all gifts from me to you. I'll take this one. Beautiful. That's a beautiful color, my dear brother. So what it is, it's a travel bag. And then inside is a prayer mat that teaches you how to worship the Most High. Okay, my brother? So yeah. if you want, you can put everything in here. And you have to understand, when you worship the Most High, right, all it does is benefit you. Do you yeah. think the Creator needs our prayers? No. No, right? When we pray, guess what? Thank you. It, yeah, we're thanking Him. And we have access to the blessings of the Creator as we worship. Okay, my brother? Thank you. Yes, sir, my brother. Appreciate and I'll, don't just thank me. Thank your creator. Okay, my brother? Yes, sir. You. Yes, sir, my brother. The pleasure yes. meeting, okay? God bless you, my brother. Yes, sir. Take care, all right? Hey, and just do me a favor. Pray for me, okay, when you pray, okay, my brother? God bless you, my brother. Take care, man. Sa'alahum khazanatuha, sa'alahum khazanatuha, alam ya'ti.
تَتِّكُمْ نَذِيرٌ قَالُوا بَلَا قَدْ جَاءَنَا نَذِيرٌ فَكَذَّبَنَا وَكُلْنَا مَا نَزَّلَ اللَّهُ وقلنا ما نزل الله من شيء إن أنتم إلا في ضلال كبير وقالوا لو كنا نسمع أو نعكل ما كنا في أصحاب السعير فاعترفوا بذنبهم فسهقا لأصحاب السعير 